Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the moon, sun, and rising of Gemini's. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, uh, welcome. And for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. I want to wish all of you guys out there a amazing Hallow's Eve. Happy Halloween to everyone and remember to be safe, okay? So let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. These are particularly to do with your love life, okay? So let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding your love life. Spirit, what are the messages for Gemini's for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding their love life? Gemini's. Oh, all right. You have cards popping out already, Gemini's. All right, let's get into your reading. So for your cards, you have the Chariot, the Justice card, the Judgment, wow. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Now, I am doing for all readings, I am doing four cards for you and four cards for your partner, but for some reason, um, I pulled out one more card, so I guess uh, that card wants to speak to you. You have two Knights here. Uh, so you definitely have to be careful with the people surrounding you or the people that you're dealing with for the mid-month of October going all the way to November. So I'm going to be pulling out four cards for your partner, which is the ten, sorry, the nine of, uh, the nine of pentacles, the seven of swords, the emperor, and the king of cups. Let me pull out your current situation. Spirit guides. Please give me the card that signifies the current situation for Gemini's love reading for the mid-month of October 2017. Current situation for Gemini's. Current situation for Gemini's. Okay. You have the Nine of Swords. All right. Okay, Gemini's. So you have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords as a general situation in regards to your love life. You have the Nine of Swords. So what that brings... Uh, at the current, uh, either for some of you guys, you guys have been single for quite a while now. <laughs> and for those of you guys that are current, currently in a situation where you're in a relationship, but you feel bounded, you feel tied down, or you feel like you can be your own person, um, almost like the person you're with is trying to change who you are or your natural, uh, your natural uh, nature, basically. Geminis are known to be, uh, you guys are an air sign. There's a lot of need for communication, a lot of need to uh, talk. It may be misinterpreted in the sense of like flirt, flirting, uh, but it's not that you guys are flirting. It's just that, that that's the way you guys actually expressively release energy through communication as you are the twin in the zodiac. So again, the Nine of Swords definitely talks about uh, feeling suppressed. Um, the Nine of Swords can also represent having a lot of uh, stress, a lot of mental stress, a lot of burdens that you feel that you just can't overcome or things are becoming a little bit too hectic. But I'm feeling the Nine of Swords more like a stuckness. So either you feel that you're stuck in the relationship that you're in or you feel like you can be your own person, like almost trying to change who you are to accommodate the other person and this usually signifies um when you're really trying to work a relationship out but you kind of lose yourself in the relationship and you start to alter who you really are uh to accommodate your partner and that in no shape way or form is a good thing because you're suppressing who you really are and ultimately there's going to be it's like boiling water um, at the end of the day, when it comes to a boil, it's going to come up. So you have to understand that and try the best you can not to alter who you are or change your personality to try to accommodate other people. So what I'm trying to say is for those of you guys that are currently single but have been seeing or, you know, serial dating, um, if you feel that there's something um, that... An example for those of you guys that are <clears throat> serial dating, right? You're going out with different people, trying to test the waters. If you feel that they kind of all have some type of um, notion of who you are, if they express to you 
um, well, you know, you could be a little bit flirtatious and you take that as a negative um, and you try to alter that that trait of yours. Uh, it's only going to make you feel like you're changing who you are almost to the point of being almost like ashamed of your nature and ultimately you're going to hold them like you're going to hold anger or uh, frustration towards them Um, or you're kind of you know kind of like that what's the word I'm getting a lot of messages give me one second okay so you you need to try to be who you are and whoever is genuinely interested in you is going to find not so much your flaws as what other people may see as flaws. They're going to see them as virtues. So you need to understand that you, there's no need for you to try to alter or change that within you or who you are to accommodate other people or to make other people feel okay or even not threatened by the fact that, oh, you know, um, uh, maybe I can lose them or whatever because it's just coming up as insecurities from your partner Uh, not so much with you it's kind of like you've you've paid your dues now for those of you guys that have been uh, married or in a serious relationship for a very long time and you've been trying to work this relationship out again like I said try the best you can not to lose yourself in that situation don't lose yourself in the relationship you know every relationship is two people coming to one type of energy which is balanced Uh, doesn't necessarily mean you have to alter your personality or your traits uh, to accommodate them so again take that for what it is anyways I know that was a long message but let's get into your reading okay so the first three cards are major arcanas for you Gemini's so what this means is that you guys are currently dealing with life lessons that you need to learn at the present time so this is how you're viewing your partner now you have the chariot the chariot is triumphant uh, you know moving forward in a very quick fast paced but it can also represent um, it can also represent um, issues in regards to while you're driving an everyday type of mundane thing so um, for those of you guys that have uh, you know an example if you have a paid a ticket if you had to go to court and you forgot to go to court whatever it may be try the best you can to deal with that now because by the end of the month you may come to um, experience that you get pulled over you have no idea you have a warrant and you'll end up getting either you know uh, getting into deeper trouble basically so again try the best you can because you do have the cherry here but you also have the justice the justice and the cherry could represent uh, getting pulled over or having to deal with the law in regards to either speeding in regards to getting pulled over while you're driving whatever it may be but the judgment can also represent um, again like I said uh, having to deal with something from the past that you avoided so anyways on a grander scale in regards to love because obviously this is a love reading I just wanted to let you guys know and give you guys a heads up okay so (laughs) in a particular general reading um, just be careful uh, when you're driving okay if you you guys don't have a license whatever it may be uh, don't be driving don't don't be reckless with it at least not for the end of this month going into the beginning of the first week of November so um, just looking out for you guys anyways in regards to your love life, how you're seeing your partner, you see the chair, uh, the chariot here. So the chariot is definitely a representation of you wanting to move forward in this relationship. But the justice card here is uh, you're viewing your partner as very judgmental, but you're also viewing your partner like you're trying to accommodate them. Again, like I said, um, they're being too harsh on you or judging you um, or even having uh, insecurity issues in regards to the relationship, perhaps for things that were done in the past. Okay. Now you do have two nights here. Now two nights to me is not a good thing. Two nights, uh, represents to me, a lot of people being all up on your business, or it can represent, uh, even, uh, family members, uh, family members, close to your partner um, having a lot to say or opinionating a lot about the relationship or even uh, advising your partner in regards to your relationship and that's never a good thing I always tell my clients try the best you can to keep your relationship private 
The reason why? Well, because relationships are difficult as it is. And in regards to you reaching out, an example, if you express to your sister or your brother what you're going through, whether it's good or bad, you are basically creating something that is unnecessary. Why? Because obviously if there is cheating involved, if there's lies, da 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 da, your family members are not going to be okay with that. So they're going to hold a grudge on your partner. And then later on, any little thing that triggers you, you go to them and they're like, leave them, leave them, walk away from that bullshit. Um, but the reason why they're doing it is because they're so connected, emotionally invested in what you've already shared with them. So try the best you can to keep your relationship private. If you can, if you've allowed people to opinionate in regards to your relationship, then that's what you're going to have to deal with. Uh, you're going to have to deal with a lot of people having a lot of opinions about your relationship. And to me, that is a necessary type of stress you need to deal with. Now, anyways, um, in regards to how you're seeing the relationship, you see the Knight of Wands here and the Knight of Swords. So this could be your energy and it could be your partner's energy. For some of you guys, you guys are dealing with a fire sign. A fire sign would be a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries. Um, and you both are acting immature. You're both not being responsible in regards to how you express your emotions or in regards to putting the cards on the table and speaking about what's really bothering you or your partner. It's like you both have your shields on. You guys are both like not trying to come off as sensitive. So what you're doing is you're kind of brushing off whatever is bothering you. And again, going back to this nine of swords, what this is talking about is you're going to get to a point where there's a breaking point for everything. And you guys may lash out at each other um, in a way that could have been avoided if you had opened up or they had opened up. Okay. So again, like I said, be very tactful in regards to that. Now in regards to how your partner views the situation or the relationship is the nine of pentacles. So they definitely see um, that you're very capable, Gen Gemini, that you're very, uh, very responsible when it comes to uh, payments, when it comes to uh, money. Um, but they also see you as sneaky or they also feel like you've been hiding things from them or not being completely honest with them because the, the seven of swords, there's definitely a feeling of like there's a, some type of sneaky behavior. Either they feel that you've been cheating on them or you feel that they've been cheating on you. But again, this is your, your partner's energy. So again, the seven of swords, it could be that they're holding on to something from the past, um, with the judgment and the justice card uh, where they continuously keep throwing that your way. Like they act the way they act, uh, whether it's mistreating you or whether it's treating you like shit. And then when you confront them, it's almost like you're scared of even confronting them because every time you confront them, you know, they're like, well, you know what? You just look at, you know, whatever it is um, about me. But remember when you did this, remember when you did that. So to me, it's like they're they're playing the seven of swords They're That's their playing card at the present time. Like every like they could be excused for everything they do by throwing things from the past in your face. So then you can, um, I guess, feel remorseful and kind of overlooked, at, you know, their behavior. So this the emperor is here and the emperor here is there is a need for structure or there's a need to hold people accountable for their actions in this relationship so what that means is again if they keep referencing to the past you need to step up your game you need to put your feet on the ground and say you know what yeah i fucked up own up to that own up to whatever it was that was done in the past whether this is you or whether this is your partner okay it's a general reading so again like I said someone needs to step up stand their ground and say yeah you know what own the fact that you fucked up but also own the fact that you're still putting in work trying to fix this relationship and they need to take that for what it is and let go of the past and move forward or you both need to come to the determination that you know what as the emperor would rule his kingdom see it from a very clear perspective, not emotional, but see it for what it is. And if it's no longer serving you, it's time for you to walk away, Gemini. Now, this is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a water sign. Obviously, this is not your energy. So for some of you guys, it could be that you find out that the person you've been seeing with or dealing with is actually has been communicating with this water sign. And this water sign, again, it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be their 
uh, they're taking on the qualities of the water sign. So again, I feel that this is a third party type of energy. If it's not present, it has been in the past. And this is the reason why your partner at the present time is holding all that all that stuff that was done in the past it's kind of like the moment you start questioning them or the moment you start confronting them about their behavior as in now they quickly go back to well remember you did this to me and you did that and again like i said the emperor is here to remind you there needs to be structure it's a give and take if they were able to forgive you they need to let go of the past and move forward and whatever it is that was done again in the past so long it's not being done now in the present. I mean, if it is, you know, ultimately, if, if you're still doing that in the present, then obviously you deserve all the bullshit they're giving you. But ultimately, again, like I said, there needs to be structure and you have to see things with a clearer mind. So come to that understanding or that determination of, you know what? Yeah, we're going to move forward, but we're moving forward side by side. You don't go before I do. Like you don't walk in front of me or I don't walk in front of you. It's side by side. It's equality. Uh, you know, the, the exchange of strength, the give and take. So again, like I said, there's very much need for some type of clarity and communication because the Knights can also represent your energy and your partner's energy. And you both, in this tarot, you can see you're both wearing right in your, right here in the heads, the protective shield it's like both of you guys are stubborn both of you guys are not wanting to give in and if there's no giving in if there's no link of communication how are you going to be able to express your emotions and move forward you can't so you guys can be stubborn in that regards okay now for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while um the chariot is a representation of you moving forward and you're moving forward basically a universe is going to put you in a situation where it's going to be just so what i mean by that is for those of you gemini's out there that have been single for a while and if perhaps in the past there was lying and cheating done to you you need to let go of that the just the judgment card here is saying you're going to have another opportunity at love but you need to release that armor that you're still holding on uh, or clinging to to for dear life protecting yourself because what you're doing is you are basically tying yourself to the past and not being able to let go or not being able to allow people to step in and show you uh, or put effort into proving to you that they are genuinely interested in you okay now how the person that's coming towards you or the person that you've been talking to is seeing you at the present time the nine of pentacles there is a uh, promise for stability or something long term but the seven of swords can also represent that they're feeling like you're hiding things from them like you're not opening up uh, again like you're being sneaky or they can be uh, almost your detached type of demeanor can to them could be a red flag like maybe you're dealing with multiple multiple people when in reality you're not you're just not being able to open up so you need to be mindful about that now the emperor here is talking about again like i said structure and uh, seeing things for what they are in regards to relationships now there is a water sign here that may be coming in by the beginning of november the first week of november um and this is a person that is genuine uh, usually the king of cups it could be both male or female doesn't have to be a male it could represent a person that is very compassionate but is also very um, fair so what that means is they're not so much when there's an injustice they don't stand for injustice they speak up even though they're compassionate and loving they are very close and strong to their beliefs so if they see that something's just not right they have no mind in speaking their mind this is a person that's very clear-headed um, so again like I said if you guys have been single for quite a while there's a need for you guys to disarmor yourself okay let go of you know the fear I know uh, Gemini's you guys are an air sign and by nature you guys are very wild and free but also uh, you know it could mirror your energy so what I mean by that is you can fear meeting someone or being in contact or opening up yourself to someone that is very wild at heart and you could be very attracted to that 
because that's your nature but it can also scare you because you would fear that they would just go and you know pretty much get get you attached and then move on from that and that may be something that you fear and that's the reason why you're so closed off try the best you can not to do that again like I said uh, don't hold people to the same standard of the, your previous partner the person you were with in the past everyone is different uh, we all have different experiences. We all evolved very differently. And again, I think that at the present time, it's time for you to evolve, Gemini. It's time for you to find structure in your life, whether it's settling down, whether it's giving the opportunity to someone to prove to you that they want a serious, committed relationship or to come to terms and understand that, you know what, this relationship I'm in is no longer working for me and you need to fly high. You need to uh, step away from that and p detach yourself from that type of uh, toxic type of energy. Okay, so I hope this resonated with you guys. Like, comment, and share my videos. Um, also, I want to thank you guys, Gemini's. Uh, the way I've been uploading all the videos uh, this month or the the middle of the month is the most views. So the videos I get the most views are the first videos to go up next time around. So you guys were definitely the top three. So thank you guys very much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you so much, and we will see each other in the beginning of November. Bye.